Oh god. Lee, run! Man, the camera. If, I, if only I could keep the camera aimed at these things. Oh god! Oh, I'm not even aimed at it! <laughs> no! Stop shooting the boxes! Glybar! Flee, you fool! Okay, Glybar, aim. Aim at the creatures, man. He keeps aiming at the boxes. Oh god! Stop aiming at the boxes, Glybar! Oh, we missed! No, we're dead! <laughs> wow! Our first mission, we suck so bad. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are hopping into a huge game known as Fantasy Star Online. This is uh, an online, as you can guess, RPG game that originally released for the Sega Dreamcast, but then later ported to the GameCube and Xbox. Truth be told, I actually wanted to play this on GameCube because this game uh, came with a massive GameCube controller that had a keyboard in the middle. And so, yeah, basically this. Um, I don't actually own this controller yet, though. It's one of the uh, white whales that is eluding me in my controller collection. One day I will find one. Um, I know I could go online to eBay and pay a bunch of money and get one instantly if I wanted, but um, I think they're a little overpriced on eBay, frankly, and uh, I feel like this is the kind of thing I could hunt around in yard sales and Goodwills and one day, one day perhaps find. So, uh, because we can't play this on GameCube with a giant keyboard controller, instead, uh, I thought we'd go back to the original Dreamcast and play this game as it was meant to be played. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here. Uh, PSO is a unique game in that your character can exist offline and online throughout your adventure. In order to keep track of your character, you it's tied to your serial number and access key. Because of this, you must play the same Dreamcast throughout the entire adventure. Okay. Save your character information. Please confirm you've correctly... Oh, we have to give the serial number of our system. Okay, interesting. Um, <laughs> I like how they're giving you function keys here. What kind of serial number requires you to actually enter F9? But, I mean, I guess. There's the big BS button. It's backspace, people. Um, Alright, uh, avert your eyes. Let me enter some private information here for a second. Alright. Information registered to the hardware. Now we select our memory card here. Um, now, this game has an interesting sort of legacy of development. Um, it was originally developed, obviously, by Sega, um, but they specifically wanted to develop an RPG because they had seen the success of games like Diablo, Ultima Online, EverQuest, and they wanted to make their own online RPG game because they felt like the genre was kind of being dominated by the West, which is interesting because a lot of the early RPGs... Well, I mean, Dungeons & Dragons, the OG, OG RPG, was Western. But then there's lots of JRPGs that existed in video games around the Super Nintendo era time. So JRPGs were kind of really big at introducing the idea of RPGs into consoles. And so there's this kind of back and forth between the West and the East in terms of, you know, the RPG genre. Um, and by the way, I didn't know Fantasy Star Online. I mean, I guess it makes sense, stars in the title, but I didn't know it would involve going to a different planet. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but anyway... So they, they saw these modern RPGs that were coming out of the West. They wanted to sort of jump on the bandwagon and make an online game too. But at the time, uh, Japanese internet, you had to pay by the minute. And so imagine an online game. Well, that's kind of a cool ship there. There's like a whole dome, like a whole world within a ship. That's really neat. Um, imagine playing a game like World of Warcraft, but you have to pay by the minute to your internet company. Like forget about any service fees you'd pay to Blizzard. Like, that's nuts. So actually, I think it was the chairman of Sega personally paid for one year of internet for everyone who bought this game. So one year of internet was bundled with this game when they produced it, which is crazy. And it was paid for, you know, just to sort of like jumpstart the internet and gaming uh, on the Dreamcast. Um, the other fun fact about this is they originally wanted this game to be more like EverQuest or Ultima Online, where it was a persistent MMORPG world. 
but uh, the Dreamcast doesn't come with a hard drive, and so it was actually not really feasible to have an MMORPG uh, as a result. And so instead, apparently they pivoted, and this game is a bit more like Diablo. So it's like an online version of Diablo. But anyway, that opening cinematic was kind of cool. I wasn't sure exactly what was happening, but let's go ahead and uh, create our character here. So, I guess... Oh, interesting. These are pre-made characters? Or are these, like, races? The Fomaral... The Raycast... Okay, so... Interesting. What what does RA mean? Ramar, Rakast, and Rakastle? Interesting. So I don't know. This guy looks like a badass cyber ninja. I don't know who to be. I thought this was... I thought this said human, by the way. When the screen first came up, I was like, oh, the default race is human. I'm like, no, Humar. Um, I kind of like that, though. Oh, we can also be Hucast, which is a ninja. Let's be Humar, because I, because I misread it as human. I think that's kind of funny. Humar, hunter plus human. Good in close range combat, can do some recovery attacks. Oh, interesting. Oh, these are all different things. Hunter plus Newman, strong technique attack with good balance. What is this? Hunter plus Android, strongest attack power, highest hit point level, use multiple weapons, but no techniques. Uh, that sounds awesome. What is this? Ranger Android, can use all guns. There's guns in this? Ranger human, proficient with guns, can do some recovery. Okay, we gotta pick a gun class. We're going with this one. So that's interesting. So there's sort of like two class, or there's like a class and a race and they combine into like interesting combos. Pretty cool. We can customize our face. Well, there's only uh, five different predefined options. Uh, I like this guy, he's camoed. Air, we got some options here. Oh, whoa, look at this. Now that's cool. Wait, what are the other ones? Oh, you can have like a whole Master Chief style helmet. Now, I kind of like uh, I kind of like that one. It's sort of like the Batman helmet because his whole like lower jaw is revealed. Um, kind of like the blue. Blue did it for me. Skin color. I mean, whatever. Proportions. Wait, what? Oh man, you can make him. Oh, you can make him fat. <laughs> Wait, what? You can also make him like super skinny. Interesting. And you can make him short. <laughs> a super skinny short cyborg. Now let's make him tall. And make him a little muscular. There we go. There we go. This is the warrior you guys have been waiting for. Character name. His name is Glybar. Glybar the Cyber Warrior. G L. Y B A. I don't know why Glybar just sounds right. Feels right. This guy looks like a Glybar. All right, Glybar, off into combat we go. He's Ry Glybar the Raybar from Whittill. Section ID. All right. I'm excited to give this a shot. Uh, we're going to go in offline mode, obviously. So this game was discontinued in the year 2000. All the online servers shut down. However... To this day, I believe there are still private fan servers that are keeping this game alive, so uh, that's kind of neat. I, you know, didn't have the ability, well, I mean, I guess I could have, but I, I haven't looked up how to connect to the private servers, and it was hard enough just getting this game running, so I'm just going to go into offline mode. And we start by diving into hyperspace, looking for the fantasy star. Now, when this game was being developed... The uh, main developer, the lead developer, actually didn't want to have online in the title because he thought it would date the game. You know, he thought in future all games are going to have online. No one's going to put it in the title. But they were kind of between a rock and a hard place because they didn't put online in the title. And people like it was a selling point back when this game came out. But now it obviously dates the game because nobody's making like, you know, uh, Overwatch online. It's like Overwatch is just an online game. You know, it's just taken for granted. Anyway, are you Glybar the Ranger? I'm Principal Tyrell. Oh good, we get to go to school. We have a bad situation. We need to act quickly. Did you hear about the explosion on Ragal? Very well, pay attention. Listen to me. We've lost contact with Pioneer One. We have no idea uh, what has happened. We sent unmanned search units, but communication seems to cut off near the surface. What happened to Ragal? 
what uh, occurred on Pioneer One. Are the people on board alive? The council made a decision to send a manned search team. You are a skilled ranger. We need your help. We have no choice. We need a place, a place to settle on. All right, so I'm going to go down and uh, clean stuff up. Oops. I accidentally talked to him. Go to his secretary, Irene. She will help me. All right, Irene, tell me where the uh, invasion happens. Let me brief you on your mission. Once you're on the surface of Rhaegal, check the status of the residential area. Checking the status of the central dome is a good idea. A transporter was launched earlier. You can go down to Rhaegal directly from the city. Maybe a little risky, so please be careful. That's all. Um, excuse me. Oh, sorry. No, nothing. I wish you the best of luck. Okay, that was that was an awkward way to end the conversation. Um, and who is this over here? Our planet was tearing itself apart, uh, but we couldn't stop it. This guy looks like a rad scientist. Look at those glasses, that sweet mustache. He knows what's up. So we started searching for a new planet. We found Rhaegal. Huge interstellar, blah, 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 blah. All right, see you, buddy. Hey, wait, there's another scientist that looks just like that guy. Oh, wait, she's female. Oh, no, it's a dude. <laughs> uh, are these guys clones? No, okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right, let's go off uh, and actually teleport down an adventure here. Uh, do it. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, look at this place to explore. This is neat. I imagine when this first came out, this would be really cool. Um, the explosion occurred just after the landing announcement. The news spread The news spread very quickly among the citizen levels. The people who are family on Pioneer 1 are worried. Okay, I like that we're in this, like, uh, sci-fi future thing. Nobody does future sci-fi like the Japanese. Like, they just get it. Like, cyberpunky and cool and neon signs and holograms. Very cool. I guess a lot of RPGs by default are always medieval, you know, like Diablo, EverQuest, Ultima Online. None of those are sci-fi RPGs. Um, sci-fi RPGs feel like they're a little rarer, um, but you know what is the rarest? Oh, my gun. Or, or not. Hello? Uh, I want to buy. Oh, everything's super expensive. There's a handgun that's green. Okay. Well, I can't afford anything, as it turns out. I'm rather poor. Um, but yeah, I, I would say medieval RPGs are the most common, and then after that, then there's the future ones. But you know what's really rare? It's like contemporary RPGs. Y you know what I've never seen? It's like an RPG that takes place just in our current year. Like a, a an RPG that takes place in 2021, and you're just like a high school teacher, and you have to level up your teaching ability. You know, or something like that. Um, I guess like Earthbound is the closest I can think to think of to a contemporary um, RPG, but even that sort of has like a sci-fi element. Like imagine, imagine an RPG where you're, oh wait, what is this? Hold on. Um, these are find a hunter who's working down in Raggle. Oh, these are quests, I think. Download quest. Oh, that would, like, download quests from your uh, memory card or whatever. Re retrieve items that were stolen. Okay. Oh, is it teleporting me down? All right. We're, we're heading down to the surface. Do a quest. Um, I'm Garen, a trader. I want you to go down to Raggle and retrieve my lost items. Really important. Business opportunity uh, of the likes that no one has ever seen before. I'm sure I'll become a zillionaire when I get it all back. That useless ranger said the android took them. Find that android and get back my items. Understand, if you need any more info, ask that stupid incompetent ranger. Okay. Well, we have a quest. We've got to figure out how to get down to the surface. And that. Um, but yeah, imagine a contemporary RPG where like, maybe you were like a cop or something. And like, there's no sci-fi. There's no fantasy, nothing like that. It's just set in normal, you know, modern times. I mean, I guess in some ways, The Sims is kind of like that. You know, The Sims is sort of like, it's not an RPG, but it is like a simulator in just like random modern times. Okay, we gotta figure out, yeah, that shoots. And that is a charge shot. Okay. Then, ah, oh, we can type. 
<laughs> cool. All right. This game kind of feels like it needs two analog sticks. By default, the Dreamcast only has one, and I'm like, uh, I, I, I keep moving my other thumb in the direction of where the other analog. Like, I want to rotate my camera. I don't know how to do it. Um, oh, left trigger moves the camera right behind you. Okay. Can't go in there. Oh, look, there's something in there, though. Okay, Glybar needs to figure out what's going on here. Oh, did that turn off the force field over here? It did! Sweet. Okay, what is this? A saber. Glybar only use gun. Glybar not understand the saber. Um, okay, what are these? And cool in here. This stuff, nothing. Um, all right. Well, the only other place to go is here. Oh, maybe I have to go and press this thing. There we go. I was kind of excited after I heard this game. Um, you know, they originally tried to make it like uh, EverQuest Online, or, or EverQuest and Ultima Online, and then they decided to uh, make it more like um, Diablo. Because, oh God. Oh no, I'm dying. Kill, kill that thing. It almost killed me. It almost went from me. Oh my god, there's another one. Okay, hold on. Lee, run. Man, the camera. If, I, if only I could keep the camera aimed at these things. Oh god. Run. Run, Glybar. Glybar, no one to die. Oh, I'm not even aimed at it. <laughs> no. Stop shooting the boxes. Glybar, flee, you fool. Flee. Okay, Glybar, aim. Aim at the creatures, man. He keeps aiming at the boxes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. One hit left. We're literally about to die. Okay, hold on. Let's run all the way back to the door. There must be a way to dodge or something. We're going to have to... We're really going to have to try and figure out these buttons. We're dying to, like, the first creatures. Stop aiming at the boxes, Glybar. Oh, we missed. No, we're dead. <laughs> wow. Wow. Our first mission, we suck so bad. Okay, whatever. It's a learning. It's a, a learning process. We got five experience. Um, <clears throat> now we go back down to the surface. Uh, Glybar needs to upgrade a little bit. I'm thinking. Gly it turns out Glybar sucks. He thinks he's good, but he sucks. Um, all right, let's head back down. I mean, you got to kill a few things and get some experience and money, right? Like, because I really, I'm pretty sure I can't afford anything yet. Um, I also got to, like, get my bearings and figure out where the teleporter actually is. I don't, I don't know where I'm going. How did I find my way down to the surface last time? Right over here? There it is. Okay, right near the medical bay. All right, teleport down to Forest One. Maybe the charge shot is the thing I should be using. Um, also, I have... Uh, so it's like, on the bottom right corner, those are my four buttons. I don't wonder what that green thing is. I didn't use that at all. Oh, I already opened that. Oh, wait. I don't have a weapon equipped. Wait, what? Do I have to pick up my stuff? Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Okay, I got my, my money. I'm literally about to die to these things. Run! Lee, gra gl Glybar, no! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> oh god. Glybar, you suck. You suck. Okay. Let's, uh, go into our item pack here. Whip. Do I have like literally nothing? So how do you get a new gun after you die? Seems uh seems pretty Oh, there's my handgun. Whip. Okay, why would you unequip your gun after you die? That seems like a terrible system. I don't know what mag is. That's weird. Okay. Let's, um, okay, we got, got our gun equipped again. Give this another shot here. 
The guards in the station are like, that Glybar guy is just like constantly like coming all the way back up here. And I hear he's terrible. He just keeps getting killed by these two random bears that are hanging out near the beginning of the forest. All right, we have our gun. Okay, I'm gonna do charge shots on these stupid things. Here we go. No! Do it again. Do it again. Can't, oh my god, I keep missing. Run, Glybar. Run. There's no run button, too. He just sort of like runs when he decides it's time to run. Okay, all right. Well, they're on the other side of that door. Okay. Not even aimed at them. Oh my god, lock onto them. <laughs> this game really needs a second uh, thumbstick. The, um... The Dreamcast even had a dual analog stick controller. Oh, we finally killed one. Um, it just wasn't the default controller. Uh, I think it was a, a dual joystick controller that was used for virtual on cyber wars or whatever. Uh, my god. Brutal. So my guess is that uh, characters who use melee weapons are like way better. Because uh, range is uh, a little dodgy. The thing that I feel like makes... The, like, I think this would be easier as a Diablo-style game, because I wouldn't have to worry about controlling the camera. I could just point and click, and my guy would always face the direction he needs to face. What's screwing me up with the gun is that without a second analog stick, it's hard to, like, move and aim, and also keep the camera in line. Like, it just, it just really, really could use a second analog stick. That's all I'm saying. Got it. Can't go in there. Oh, wait. Turn off the keyboard. I forgot what that button did. I was like, wait, what does that button do? It's keyboard. I wonder if when the enemies are attacking you, you can actually, like, pull up the keyboard and, like, try and be, like, you know, make peace with them. Oh, oh a savage wolf is coming. Kill it. Miss. 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 Oh, my God. It's not even moving. How come my guy can't hit this? Look, every single shot is missing. Oh, we finally hit. Oh, this thing is gonna kill me, man. There's no way. I can't even aim at it. Um, oh god. When you hold right, you get a whole second set of uh, abilities. Okay, we're using this thing. Oh, that's a heal! Okay, that's good to know. Get it. Get it. Get it. Am I even aimed at it? No, it's not even there. <laughs> this is so hard. Oh, this is so hard. I'm going to I'm going to pause the game after this and see if I can uh, look for um uh what you call it? Um look at look at the controls and see if I can adjust them. Oh my god, I actually killed it. Okay, let's go into our options here. Here we got option E config. Um, so the left trigger. Oh god, no! Oh god, get out of the. Wh where did these guys come from? Oh god, I can't even see them. Where's my? <laughs> I keep moving my thumb for the second analog stick. It's not there. Oh, back off! Back off! Oh, we actually got him. Run, Glybar! Run to the far end of this little arena. Man, where did those guys actually come from? That was crazy. They just showed up out of nowhere. Oh my god. I can't even aim at them. And they're already, like, getting too close. Like, face them! Face them! <laughs> oh, this is horrible! No! Run! Oh, the aiming on this game sucks. It's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, they just turned around. All right, give me a freebie, eh? Come on, die already! Damn! Oh god, die! You know what I need is a gun that stuns the enemies. Oh, oh we got a saber as well. Oh my god, there's more! Maybe they just continually respawn. Maybe I should farm these guys a bit and get some experience. 
And, uh... Oh god. Oh god. Kill him! We're so close! Die! Die! Oh, shit! No, we're- we're dead! Damn it! Oh, man. I... Like, imagine loading up Diablo and dying, like, four times in, like, the first level of the dungeon. Like, this is horrible. Um... Okay, I- I have a feeling that the- the ranged characters- I just don't know if I'm feeling it. The aiming is way too hard. Let's see if we can create a new character. Let's go with with uh with a melee character if we can. Um okay, start button, new game. Uh yeah, go ahead in there. Uh we're going to erase our character and start totally fresh. Okay, yeah, there's the opening cutscene. Humans go to a new planet, blah blah blah, and uh, you know. Okay, we wanna find uh, we want a character who's, like, really tough. Efficient with techniques and has the most balanced growth for all the forces. We don't want that. Yes, we want Hunter. Good in close range, can do some recovery and attack techniques. Balanced growth. For this one... Uh, no. Okay, we want this guy because he's good in close range. Alright, sir. Humar. You have won. You've won the lottery and you get to be me. Um, all right, so different faces. Oh, whoa. That's crazy. It's like that guy's just straight up evil. You can tell by his eyes. Uh, I like the green eyes. It's kind of cool. Kind of head to give him. I like the Bart Simpson there. Or a Mohawk. Oh my god, a fro- oh, that's hilarious. Disco Stew, huh? We'll go with Mohawk. And actually, we can uh, change his hair color if we want. Give him like red hair. Or we could go full Bart Simpson. Um, I guess you can't have black hair, right? right? Because... I oh, know you can. Yeah, I guess you take away all the color. So this would turn it black. Okay, let's be black haired. Sure. And... Oh, we can make our costume match if we want. So I kind of like the red. Skin color... Whatever. Portion, whatever, we'll leave that as it. And this guy is uh, uh this guy is I'm trying to think here. This guy is stay Bazam. Bazam the warrior, I don't know. I'm terrible at making up science fiction games. Zazam, the human. One day in the distant future, in like the year 3000, Zazam is going to be a common first name. And people will come back, like archaeologists will watch this video and they'll be like, why was he so weird about naming his character Zazam? My name's Zazam. My uncle's name is Zazam. My son is Zazam. It's... Everybody's name is Zazam. It's just, it's like... Gone. Super common. This guy, but then they won't realize this guy was the first. He was the first Sazam. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, okay. No, stop talking to him. I hate when the button to get them to talk faster is the same button to get them to talk more. <laughs> You're just trying to skip the conversation, and at the end of the conversation, you keep reinitiating it. Um, all right. Uh, okay, so there's a Hunter's Guild. I guess we should go get a quest. I was gonna say, let's just hop down to the surface, but I mean, if we do well, we're gonna wish we had a quest. So let's go ahead and get a quest here. Retrieve items that were stolen. Let's do it. Downloading the quest into our brain matrix. This guy appears, and he says he wants it. Lost money. It looks like he's wearing pajamas. He's in like very comfy pants. He's a little, little paunchy, a little out of shape. He's got a bad haircut and a weird mustache. Guy uh, seems seems a little creepy. I don't know why we're working for a guy like that, but Sazam needs the work. All right, off we go. 
Grand Adventures. Teleporting down. Oh, the load screens are actually kind of cool. All right. Oh, look at this. We have a lightsaber. Boom. Boom. Okay. Oh, we can do combos. So hold on. If we do this first. Okay, I see. So we can do combo attacks here. This is good to know. Always good to play around with the controls a little bit before you get going. Over here. Bust this thing. The saber. Alright, we're gonna do way better than we did with the uh, ranged character. Because melee is where it's at. I can feel it. Oh god, I'm not even named Adam. Oh god. Attack. Attack. Oh, we're doing so much damage though. And we're also kind of blocking the occasional attack. We're getting hit. Not like It's not like we didn't get hit. But whereas that guy like totally owned us and we had a gun, we at least were sort of like giving him what for. Okay, that's good. Okay, there's two more guys though. Oh god. Heal. Heal. Oh god, I'm like, I'm just panicking now. Oh, oh man, we iced him! Okay, the combos really matter here. Oh yeah. Oh man! Okay, we're gonna do way better as this kid. We're gonna go ahead and heal again. Man, this guy is way better than the, the ranged guy. So the reason I picked ranged is because it's like, you know, I personally like shooters and stuff, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool if it's, maybe it's a bit like a first-person shooter or third-person, I was thinking. But I forgot you don't have two analog sticks, therefore, the game's not really designed to have good shooting mechanics. It's really just designed as a point-and-click RPG that happens to use controller, so we'll treat it as such. Yeah, anything cool over here? No. Find some enemies. Sazam wants to slam some uh, wolves or whatever, whatever the hell we're fighting. Look at this thing. Boom. Oh, 26. Oh my god! Remember how hard that thing was to kill as a uh, Glybor? Just annihilated it. This is what I like to see. All right. So I'm get my guess is that for the ranged characters, they become very good later on in the game. Um, or they're good support characters. Like maybe, I mean, you can play this game with like up to four friends. So maybe if you're playing with a couple of like melee guys, then you can be the ranged guy in the back. And you, you're, you're not doing tons of damage, you're missing a lot, but you're sort of supporting the battle without risking anything. And, you, know, it's, you don't have too many, you don't have all melee guys. Damn, Sazam. Leave some for the whatevers. I don't know. All right. Can we go in here? Not. How do we get out of this like little area that we're locked in? I'm legit. Okay. Like I don't see a switch right. Maybe I just kill these things until I level up. Oh, jerk. Yo! Oh man, we iced him. Die! Oh, if you press the attack at just the right time, I think you can uh, block their attacks. Oh look, this door has opened. Okay. We just needed to kill enough of those things. Oh, what are these guys? Oh, these guys do not look uh, dangerous at all. They look, oh god. They are gonna kill me though. Oh my god, they're gonna feed on me. These things are vicious. Oh, kill them. Kill them. They're not nice at all. They're horrible little monsters. Dear god, heal again. Oh god, kill it. Kill it before it eats us. Hey, we leveled up. Leveled up. Okay, do we have, okay, we have 48 hit points. Let's kill these guys before we go. I think we gotta go back to town and get more heal. I don't know if that, like, uh, the five heals that we've got. Oh god, oh god. 
I was literally about to say, I don't know if the five heals that we've got regenerate every time we die. But, damn. Okay. Be careful. I'm guessing we get more heals. Because otherwise, I don't quite know how you're supposed to fight guys without taking damage. Like, there's no dodge button. There's no button to, like, hop out of the way. So it's like you... Literally, the mechanics of this game are run up to an enemy and just tank damage while you fight them and hope that you do more damage than they do, you know? Like, that's... You know? Because it's like, look how awkward it is to move around when those, like, little, uh... You know, yellow birdies surrounded me. It's not like I could have moved away from them and kept attacking. When you move, you face away from them. And you have to turn and face them. It's like you do... You'd, you'd suffer more hits if you actually tried to run away and dodge attacks and if you just took the damage, you know? So anyway, here's... Hoping we get those heals back. Otherwise, we're in a lot of trouble. No, we don't get them back! Well, we're screwed. Um, let's check our item pack and let's actually remember to re-equip our weapon. Saber. So, our light saber. They had to leave light out of the name of it for uh, copyright purposes. So we get slammed by Lucas. Um, okay, so here's my plan. We dropped stuff over here when we fought the, uh, the bugbear creature things. Let's pick up the things we dropped. Then we're going to run back to town. Then maybe we can, like, actually buy a bit of gear or something. Because we did kill a lot of things, I thought. Like, we killed enough that we leveled up. Look at these things that we dropped here. There we go. We killed that one. Oh my god, how did those things kill me? Okay, we got some stuff. I don't want to hang out in here too long, because I probably will die. Let's look at these guys. Try and bite them a little. There we go, we killed one. Like, since we're down here. Go, and... Get him. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We're gonna die if we if we fight anything else. Uh, and let's head back to town and see what we can do with our money. My hope is that we can buy something. I wanted a better gun when I was a ranged guy because my, my idea was if I could kill everything before it even got near me, I wouldn't need health. But as a fighter, I feel like I definitely need, like survivability. I want like either armor or something. In here. Anything in here. In here. Head back up. Beam me up! Ready to go exchange my money for goods and services. Okay, so I think we were over here somewhere to buy stuff. What's this? What does this say? What is this? Hello? Um, oh, we can... This is like, uh, bank. We don't have any money. We don't have any money in the bank, I mean. We have 361 bucks. Okay, so that is... This guy armor? Welcome to the guard shop. What can I buy? Ah, here we go. Um, so that we already have. Um, active gear for the body boost. Active screen for the left hand boost. Wait, evasion? Wait, there's evasion? Hmm. Maybe I have to go read about how, uh, how you actually evade attacks, because that could be very useful in this game. Okay, I just went and quickly looked it up, and evasion is a stat that works automatically. So there's no button you can press to evade. So that's a little... Wait, this is... Check the screen for the left. Okay, that's what we want. We want, we want the barrier. So let's see if we can sell anything. Um, we have a spare saber. We have two spare sabers. All right, buddy. I'm gonna sell you one, and the idea is I'm gonna buy barrier. Look, my evasion will go from 55 to 80. 
helicopter. I think I think that's good. Wish to equip it now. Yes. All right. We have bought a shield. What does this guy say? This items. Okay. And what does this? This guy sells weapons. Right. A saber plus one. Oh my god. Does just as a minuscule amount of more damage. Ice rifle. Damn. One. Daggers. Doesn't seem to be any weapon of value for me. We will examine item. Alright, well, we didn't get any uh, more health packs, but we did get a shield, which should prevent us from taking hits and therefore negate the need for as many health packs? I don't know. Um, can you heal me, though? Is that a thing you can do? Um, no. Help me at all. Eh? Oh, she just charged me 10 bucks to heal me. I kind of skipped through that dialogue pretty fast. All right, whatever. 10 bucks for full heal. I guess it's not bad. Okay. We need to level up a little bit. I think if we can get to like level four or five, then we can start farming these low level guys and we won't have to worry too much about them killing us. But, uh, okay. Did I equip my barrier? Um, my defense. My evasion. My evasion is 80. So I have a saber, a frame, a barrier. What is a magnet? Oh, I can actually check it out. So your mag is a thing. Oh, you can like give it abilities. I see. So when I hold my right trigger, then I get like different abilities. Those, those are my, like my mag abilities. So see this like red thing that's flying around behind me? I think it's something that you can get to help you in combat, but I have a feeling we're not there yet. So. We're just going to carry on here and see what we can see. So these areas do get cleared out, I guess. That's actually good to know. I thought it would endlessly spawn enemies, but it seems like it respawns them a couple of times, you kill them, and then you move on to the next zone. All right, here we are. Barrier over there. Go through here, we can. The question is, where do we want to go? There's also boxes over here that might contain some sweet loot. Bust these up. Anything? 21 bucks. Monomate. And, oh. Oh, monomates are heals. Oh, we just got two heals. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know what walking through that just did. I thought it was a closed door. Let's see what we got going on over here. More boote. Moon atomizer. I wonder if these are like components to build stuff or what? Okay. So just a little uh, loot corner. I like how we are adventuring in this like lush tropical paradise. You, know, you hear like birds chirping in the background. There's like sunspots because like the sun's coming in so clearly. Like lush and green and foliage everywhere. Where are... Oh. Looks like a person. Where, where did we end up? Frame. He said, okay, we're getting lots of loot now. I think we we bailed last time right before we were gonna get a whole bunch of loot. I mean clearly we bailed right before we we're gonna get a whole bunch of loot because we just got a bunch of loot. Hello! Man, look at the gun she's got. One still missing. I was surprised. Excuse me, but have you seen a mag around here? I'm looking for it. What? You came here to retrieve mags? No, no, I didn't mean to take them from the ranger, but they all look so sad. I'm just starting talking to them. They looked very happy. Okay, blah, blah. I don't know what she's talking about. Only one mag was saying that it would come with me, but it disappeared. Sorry about that. Uh... Okay. You gonna join me now? I think that's a checkpoint. Or something. Oh, no, it opened this door. 
All right, we got a friend. This is actually good news for us because I need a bit of support in combat. Maybe she'll make life a lot easier. Are you mad because I left the mags? I let the mags run away? I'm sorry. Please listen, if you don't, I don't know if you're aware of this, but mags are intelligent. When a hunter equips a mag, it recognizes him or her as its master. Some mags are clever. They can protect it or heal their masters. Moreover, some can do a lot of photon damage. Doc told me, but I forgot. Uh, anyway, mags try to help you if you're nice to them. Mags feel very sad when they lose their master. Okay, hold on. Can we equip something into our mag here? A mag. So that's our mag. Give item. Oh, we can... Okay, hold on. What what are the... L let me see what those items actually are first. Uh, how it restores something. Restores something. Full health recovery. Creates a teleport gate to the city. Revives a fallen teammate. I thought you could give a weapon or something to your mag. That's what I actually want to do. Um, this little who's putting up these force fields to protect these caves or these uh crates also these force fields feel pretty lazy because you could just walk up this hill <laughs> and walk to the other side of it so i don't know what kind of protection it actually offers my guy's just too lazy to veer off the established path but any normal person could just walk up that hill um all right I feel like we haven't seen a monster in a while. Oh, there's some monsters. I know because she's shooting at them. Boom. Oh yeah, nice job. Oh, more monsters. Let's do it. Yeah, oh man, having her around is like actually very nice. Yeah, so see, sometimes how I'm blocking their attacks with my, uh, my sword. It's because um, I have the uh, evasion stat. Damn, we're just icing these guys. I just noticed too, she's a level 12. Hey, we got a handgun. Oh, she killed a bird. Good job, you. Like she looks like this, like like she's in a dress and stuff with a big bow on her back. She looks, <laughs> she looks like a Japanese schoolgirl, but she is vicious apparently. Okay, I think we got a better item. Item pack. We got a... Oh, we got this. Oh, which actually increases my stats. Look with that. Got this. Which gives me native minus 10%. Photon sword. Sword with photon blade attacks one inch. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And, oh, this increases my evasion even further. I feel like that's what I want. Or what's DFP is probably defense. Okay, whatever. Our evasion is quite high. Let's uh let's mix mix it up a bit. Excuse me, I don't know if I should tell you this, but Cezanne, your mag is hungry. It's true! It's alive, it needs to eat something. It's best to give the mag its favorite item. Each mag has its own characteristics and its own favorite items. Some like monomite, others like Diamate. To feed your mag, open the menu window and select item pack, then mag. Then give it items. It's that easy. Uh, try to know your mag. It grows as it as it mas as its master gains experience. Okay. Mag. So mag. I will give you something. How about some Mono fluid. There we go. What did that do for it? Not much. What does dye fluid do? Okay. How about a moon atomizer? Oh, that actually did something. Okay, it now has Defense 5, Mind 1, and an IQ of 7. It's a level 6. 
I don't know what any of that means, but good. Alright, let's carry on, I guess. I guess I should just feed my mag random things and hopefully it will power up. My guess is that it's just like a little laser that follows you around and does stuff in combat. So it's sort of like a combat ready R2 unit. Sazam, your mag is very cute. It likes you a lot, Sazam. Huh? How can I communicate with mags? Well, because... I'm so sorry, I just don't know. Good explanation there, lady. Not weird, doesn't weird me out at all. Um, oh, we've literally just looped, looped back from whence we came. We have a map. Uh, I guess not. Hey, look. Internet time at 828. What does that even mean? This is not connected to the internet, so I don't know how it knows what the internet time is. Um, I just remembered. When mags get damaged, they charge energy to endure the pain. The charge energy can be converted to a photon blast. But I'm not sure when the energy charge is fully charged, your mag tells you to use the power. Okay. Good to, to know. We don't want to go back to from whence we came. Was there a door or anything that we missed? She's going to talk to me more about mags, isn't she? She's going to start out of nowhere, blathering on further and further about mags. Um, let's see. What about over this way? No. Okay, so we came through here. What about... No, we did go that way. I'm like trying to follow the, the radar map. See which way to go. That's where we came from. I'm actually kind of getting lost walking in circles here. And then we go this way. And there's nothing. And we go this way. I, I It feels like this is like a dungeon and we should encounter a boss of some kind. That's where we found her. Have we literally cleared this whole area out? What, what do we do next in the game? Kind of confused. Okay, we've cleared that area out. It's the big circle. We've done everything. Nothing over here. Oh, is there something over this way? Or no, this is just a little area where there were boxes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We left something on the ground. A handgun. Take that. Sell that for cold hard cash. Oh, here's something. We didn't see this last time. There we go. And let's get all this stuff. There's literally nothing. Nothing. Nothing in any of those boxes. Okay. Waste my time. I get it. Um, we already pressed that. That opened this door. And we came through here. What are, what are these these things here? They look like crashed pieces of uh, our spaceship. Okay. Um, I guess we just go back to the, s the space platform with this girl then. Is there any way to... Um, Check our quests. Oh, techniques. Oh, interesting. Oh, heal techniques. Oh, these oh techniques are like spells. That's kind of cool. Um. Oh, you can even customize your attacks. Oh, cool. It's not what I wanted. Uh. Do I? I don't have a list of quests. Do I? Nothing. All right. Whoops. Oh, I. Mm, wasted a heal. Damn it. <laughs> uh, they should not have these heal buttons that... I mean, the same button that goes back on the menu wastes your heal. That's so annoying. Hey, there it is. There, over there. Can you see it? You, you mean the, the exit to the spaceship? Yeah, I've, I've been using it. Can't just see it. I've been using it. So I guess our mission was to take her back to the spaceship. I didn't even realize that's what we were supposed to be doing. 
I was just kind of running around looking for monsters to slay. <clears throat> but you're welcome, Eleanor. Can we talk to her? Nope, we can't. Um, well, I guess let's sell our gear and see what other... Let's, maybe we'll go try and get some quests or something? I don't, I don't quite know where to go from here. Uh, let's see here. Sell. Okay, what don't we need? We don't need all these duplicate sabers. And we also don't need an unused frame. Look at all these sabers we've got. I'm gonna get rid of this one too. We also don't need handguns because we can't use them. What's a disc zond? Can be used to learn a technique, disappears after one use. Oh, we should learn that technique. Get rid of that. Oh, look at all the money that we've got. Simulates quick. And we've got this frame. We don't really need the other one, too. Sell it. There we go. 800 bones. Items. Um... MST needed 44. We only have 36. I don't know what MST is, but I mean, I guess not ready to use this yet. Um, and we have 800 bucks, but I mean, there isn't really anything that good to buy. Let's go and talk to the principal here real quick. Maybe he needs this girl. I don't 100% know what, uh, <laughs> what we're supposed to be doing here. How's the surface? He has nothing interesting to say to us. Let me brief you on your mission. While you're on the service, check the status of the residential area. Checking the status of Central Dome is a good idea. Transporter was launched earlier. Maybe a little risky, so please be careful, that's all. Okay. Residential area? I did not see that on the surface. But we should head back down and see if we can figure that out. Okay. What is this here, anyway? Looks like a game of uh, tic-tac-toe or something. Okay, is there anything over here that we need to explore? Love these, like, sci-fi lights and the elevator in the background and everything. It's all really neat. Hmm. It's interesting because there's, there's not that many places to go, but I feel like I'm not sure where we're supposed to go right now. Probably painful for anyone who knows this game. You're like, just go to the Flig Flang! It's right there, Jay! For the love of God! Um... Hey, did we get your stuff, dude? Go talk to that useless hunter if you need more details. He should be around somewhere. Oh yeah, thanks. I don't even know what a hunter looks like, man. In fact, I might be a hunter? A hunter's guild. We generally call hunters, rangers, enforcers just hunters. Okay. Well, that's confusing. <laughs> we call hunters, rangers, enforcers, hunters. Why don't you call them something else? Because the, hunt, the name hunter's already taken, man. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He asked me for flex, so I'm accepted for the Meseta. Okay, this guy's just talking. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. What about this guy? The, the thing that's confusing is it doesn't tell me character names or anything when I talk to people, so I'm like, I don't... I don't even know if this is the guy I'm supposed to be talking to, frankly. What about this guy? Rico loved the color red. She always wore something red. The red armlet on her left arm left an impression on the people, so that's why we called her. Okay. I, I, I don't care about this, though, dude. Who cares? <laughs> um... What is down here, by the way? Oh, I thought that was a ramp. It's just a, a pit into nothing. We can go to Forest 1. And then... What, where do we go next? Alright. Time out. I, got, I, I gotta look this up. Okay, I just went and looked up a walkthrough, and it said that there is a goal that appears in a room with a river. So, I'm gonna look around here and see what I can find, but 
Nothing. I, I didn't. I don't think I missed anything. I'm pretty sure this is a river here. Now, do we see a goal? Like, unless these things have something to do with it. I'm so effing confused. This really just needs, like, a quest option here, or, like, something on your heads-up display, a checkpoint, a waypoint, something? Some idea of where to go? Alright, I have no effing idea where to go. I looked up a walkthrough, I even went and watched a YouTube video where a guy was playing this very level, but his level looked different than mine? So... We've kind of reached the end of as far as I can go. I don't know, I... It seems like a... like a decent old school, uh, R RPG. It plays, again, it, it kind of feels like Diablo from the third person. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the camera controls, and it feels more clunky. Like, I feel like I actually want, like, a mouse to click around, or two analog sticks. So, I mean, that's my one big comment on, uh, Fantasy Star Online here. But, that said, I mean, it, it like, was okay. I could have seen gotten, getting into it a little bit more. Um, and I really did like the sort of sci-fi aesthetic of it. Uh, I, I think it has some good potential here. But, uh, as far as having any idea of where to go next, I can't figure it out. And we've been at this for, like, an hour or so. I mean, it would have been time to start wrapping up anyway. So consider this just a little preview, a little taste of what Fantasy Star Online has to offer. Obviously, if you played this back in the day, it was a very different experience than just playing it solo. You could play with friends. You could, I mean, you play this online. Um, and you could run around in dungeons, co-op style, helping each other. And that, of course, is always a really fun element of any RPG. So... Um, in terms of this being a game you must play before you die, I think because it came out and kind of had its heyday, its heyday may have passed in so much as if you want to play it online, you can get on the private servers and stuff, but it's not the same as playing it back in the day. So this is kind of, uh, kind of a game that I think there'd be tons of nostalgia around, tons of fond memories, tons of stories that people could share with us about what it was like to first play this. Um, and... It may be fun to come back and replay through single player sometimes, uh, but I think the sort of heyday of it, playing online, uh, was probably a very different experience. So, um, Definitely, though, a big franchise that I've heard of, that I've heard lots of people talk positively about. So I think for posterity's sake, it totally makes sense to be in the 1001 Games book, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Did you play this game back in the day? Can you share some stories, some tales with us about what it was like when it actually came out? That'd be pretty cool. Also, did you own one of those giant clunky GameCube keyboard controllers? And lastly, how the hell do you get out of this forest? <laughs> Just for my own peace of mind to know what was I doing wrong? Somebody leave a comment. Just tell me where I was supposed to go. I can't fi I honestly can't figure it out. Like, unless it's this lamppost thing. No, nope, that was a long shot. I have no clue. I'm literally clueless, but uh, anyway. Anyway, guys, I hope I didn't disappoint you too much, but I did kind of have fun with this uh, sort of sci-fi uh, RPG up until the end when we got utterly lost. I think it's kind of a cool idea, so uh, yeah. Anyway, um, whatever you think of this game, hopefully today was entertaining. Don't forget to like the video and all that stuff, and I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, this is Sazam and Glabar signing off, saying peace. Oh, God!